I know I'm running long here, but you know, there's just so many things I want to share with you. There's a video that I want you to watch. I'll put a link to it right here. Uh, now, this is some visions that you know two young boys had. I think they're ages nine and eleven. And uh, I actually got a confirmation after watching this video. Uh, I mean, you can take it to the Lord and see what He says about it, you know, or you can take my word for it. I don't know. Uh, I would prefer that you go to the Lord about it, but um, I watched this video, right? And then I copied the link, you know, to send it to a friend. And then I got another email from somebody in a, you know email group that I've got. This person said, "Oh man, I just saw this great video. It really encouraged me and all this kind of stuff. But you know, I'm on the road. And I'm not able to, to put the link down. And it's like when I replied, I was like, "Man, it's so crazy that you said that because I just watched that video, and I have the link in my in my clipboard. And I I instantly was able to paste the link right into the email. Like, do you get how how uh, impossible that is?" You know, I get an email saying that I just watched this video, that, uh, you know, I need the link for it. And out of all the things that I could have been doing on the Internet, I had the link for that video in my clipboard. Where I didn't have to go looking for it. All I had to do was Control-V, copy-paste. I mean, I didn't even have to copy to paste. It was all I had to do. You get that? So, watch that video. Uh, one other thing that I want to show you here. Um, I believe that Dr. O.R. is a prophet of God. Uh, until I see otherwise, you know, it's always, until I see something that, you know, is totally wrong, uh, you know, I'm keeping an eye on the guy, and I'm not, uh, I'm not just blindly listening to everything he says, but, uh, you know, I check what he says against the Word of God. So anyway, uh, I know some people, you know, call him a false prophet. If that's what you want to do, you know, that's between you and God, but I believe the man's legit. I've researched him enough that I believe I can safely say that. And I can still go down the road, and if I find something wrong about him, I can abandon ship, okay? Now, he has a Facebook page, and look at what he said on this status. I am coming, I am coming, I am coming, says the Lord. Do you know that in Scripture, when somebody says something more than once, that they mean it that much more? Like, if he says, I am coming three times, then that is serious business <laughs> that he means he is coming. Now, if you keep that in mind and you watch that video about the visions that those children had, you might come to the conclusion that uh, now is the time. Now is the time to get right with Jesus Christ. He loves you. He wants to forgive your sin. But you have to humble yourself. You have to put aside your pride and admit that you're a sinner that you have rebelled against him, that you have done wrong. And then you do what the Bible says. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. That's Romans 10, 9, and 10. Then you ask for him to give you his Holy Spirit and to make you a new creation. I mean, you really got to understand, I mean... I'm sorry to run so long, but the hour is so late. I mean, there's indicators that it could even be December of this year. I'm not guaranteeing it, but what I'm looking at tells me that you have a blood red moon that is like screaming, like, hey, this is, this, hey, this is serious, you know? You got all these other signs. You have someone who I consider to be a prophet of God, you know? proclaiming he is coming. And I know people have been saying it forever and ever, but you have to look at the whole ball of wax. You have to look at all the signs that are coming together. You know, when you have a uh, military buildup to World War III in the Middle East, that's significant. When they say that the euro is going to collapse in six days, that's significant. When they say that they're going to authorize the military to throw, you know, regular people into FEMA camp, just because they're Christians, that's significant. Let me see what else I got in here. I know I saw something else. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I could really go on for another hour and tell you more and more and more and more signs, because there are more. I mean, I'm not just making this stuff up.
the bottom line is that you need to get right with Jesus Christ. You need to understand the lateness of the hour. And the best thing that I can tell you is that if you're not already born again, you need to get on your knees and talk to Jesus like he's right there in the room with you and tell him, I'm sorry for sinning against you. I believe you are who you say you are. I accept your sacrifice for my sins. And, uh, you know, go to uh, Luke 21, 36. Pray to be accounted worthy to stand before the man, uh, st sorry, stand before the Son of Man and escape these things which are coming upon the earth. You know, the rapture isn't going to happen for everybody. You know, the rapture isn't, you know, an all-inclusive everybody goes. The rapture is for obedient Christians, for Christians who uh, are not lukewarm. And I'm not saying, you know, if you're sitting here watching a video, you know, by a watcher, if, th if this is something that concerns you, that you feel like Jesus Christ is coming, I think your heart's in the right place. But, you know, if you spend 99% of your life pursuing the world and not serving Jesus Christ, then you got something to worry about. You know, when you're saved, you desire to serve Jesus Christ. You desire to turn from sin. You know, the, the Bible says that the goodness of God leads men to repentance. You know, so simply by being born again, the Spirit of God compels you to turn from sin. So, if you're not born again, now is the time to get straight, get straightened out. Come to Jesus while grace is available. Ask for forgiveness. Surrender your life to Him. Don't be one of these people that looks up after the rapture and says, Man, I thought I had more time. Don't put it off anymore. Quit procrastinating. Satan is trying to drag you into hell. Pull a fast one on him and get dragged to heaven.